Hello and welcome back to the channel. Firstly, as always, I would like to thank those of you who have liked the videos and who have subscribed to the channel. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I'll keep making them if you keep watching them. I'm back today with my follow-up on the JTS Aracuda in 177. So I created a short just to say that I've scoped the rifle up with a uh, Sentinel X and also, I've cleaned the barrel. Just to give you an update, first of all, before any of that, I hit a snag because the, because the rifle is so new and Vector Air received it, the manufacturers uh, had left out a spacer in a bunch of the stock that went out. So I spoke to Vector Air about this and uh, it, they were already new because Andy from AAR had already had an issue with magazines going into the breach. And this was the same issue that I had with this. The magazines would just not go into the breach. And that's because the stock was directly screwed into the breach without any spacer. So Carl and Julie from Vector Air very promptly, very kindly jumped on this and sent me a spacer, which is this. Uh, and unfortunately, it was a little bit too big because when I put it in between the stock and the action, the front of the uh, stock wasn't sitting quite properly against the cylinder. So I used a couple of these as a substitute. They're essentially hard felt pads. So uh, I had these lying around the house. So I put one at the front just under here and one over here where the stock bolt um, attaches and I put a hole through one of them so the um, the bolt goes through it and essentially creates or acts as a spacer and it works fine now the magazines go in fine so if you do hit that problem my suggestion is first off go back to the retailer that you purchased it off and mention that uh, you've received one of the batch that has not got a spacer in it. Two, you could add your own spacer or three, get them to sort it for you. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. Second thing is the barrel definitely needs a clean because when I first got it, I always clean my barrels. The only thing is I was waiting for a replacement Napier cleaning kit to arrive because the pull through that I had on my first one, the string unfortunately broke on it. So um, I don't use rods. Uh, I prefer to use the, the pull through kit. So I ordered a new one from eBay. It arrived and I'm glad I waited because, I mean, that was the first pull through and I thought, wow, OK. Um, I did four lots and eventually got to the end and I was like, great, everything's sorted. It's clean, good to go. And I've done my initial kind of testing at my in my garden range at 22.5 and it's interesting because when I purchased this I got a silencer with it and it was an Air Force One uh, Shorty Mark II and I put that on and I started my first of all usual go-to pellets which are JSB Exacts 8.44 grain just to see what what you know fingers crossed everything would be all right I've seen some great things on the accuracy with this rifle However, this is what happened. I got essentially the rifle shooting all over the place. I was also trying to zero the, the, the rifle at the same time. And the first few groups were, I was aiming for the center and essentially the groups were scatter shotting essentially all around here. And then when I felt like I'd got something a little bit tied down, I, I went over here and when I was aiming dead center, the shots were going to the left. So I shot aiming here, the shots were going to the left. Just tried re-aiming, uh, re-centering again. Shots were going down, sometimes they were going up. I even had a couple that were going over here like that. One went up there. I was thinking, what is going on? Then I took the silencer off and I started again. And then I was getting tighter groups and I tried again even more tighter groups, and again, tighter groups. And then at this point, I thought, you know what? I'm going to start a clean sheet, and I fill the rifle back up. By the way, um, 
as I mentioned in my first video, this has got a regulator and the reg set at 110 bar. And at this point, by the time I'd done all that, it was nearly coming to 100 bar. So I thought, you know what, top it back up, which this is set to a maximum of 220 bar. So I filled it just about to 210 and I started shooting again. And this is at 22.5 yards. Again, as I mentioned in my previous videos, if a rifle that I get can't even pass that first basic range, then it doesn't bode well from my perspective. And I'll tell you something. I've seen other people also use circa the same range distance and then they push it out further and further. But from my initial testing from there, these are the groups that I was getting. And at that point, I was like, phew, this rifle, the videos that I've seen bef before and from other people are spot on. It's accurate. So two to zero it. Again, zoomed in, by the way. At this point, I zoomed in to, to max level with the scope. And then it started doing its thing. With, like I said, the first pellets that I used, GSB exacts. 8.44 grains with the 4.51 skirts. I'm just going to put this down for a second. I'll show you why I put use the 4.51 skirts. Because of the mags. Because, and again, notice this. This is when I first started to test the magazine by trying to get it into the breech. And it just, it just wouldn't go. And uh, yeah, anyway. Um, I've got another one over there, which is even more scuffed. But it is what it is. Um, but kindly vector rare replaced the magazine so that was good long story short because you've got to drop a pellet into this hole i figured why take a chance and take something which is bigger than a 5-1 skirt because it could cause clipping issues a when you insert it or b when it's indexing when you're shooting so 4.51 was the sweet spot and now i hit i think i hit gold straight off because look this is, again, once you take the silencer off, and to be fair, it didn't really need it. You know, it wasn't like a huge bark. Okay, it's a little bit loud, but not loud enough to get the neighbours complaining. But the, the groups, fives and threes, I mean, look at that. Fives and threes, great. I was really, really, really happy with the results I was getting. I'll show you the back as well, just so you can see what it looks like. So, yeah, same hole, same hole groups. And also on my last shot, which was circa, uh, and again, just to, I'll show you the chronos in a minute. It captured 96 of the shots. It, there were some shots it didn't capture, by the way, but it only goes up to 96. Um, but on the very last shot, which was coming up to about 110 bar, or yeah, about 110 bar, I aimed for that and... Boom, got the S. And I was like, yes. So I was very, very, very pleased with the accuracy. Um, and again, this is literally after the barrel's been cleaned. It hasn't even been bedded in yet properly. So I think it will tighten up even better than this. So great. Let's have a quick look at the chrono results. So, 96 shots were, were, were essentially captured. A low of 10.2, high of 11, 6. A spread of 1.4 with a standard deviation of 0.3. And again, you know, the reg's not bad. But again, I've heard online that it takes a fair, you know, like maybe a tin of pellets, maybe slightly more for the regulator to settle in so so far so good in fairness so i'm pretty pleased with that i'm pretty pleased with that from initial testing this rifle for its price point for the features for its accuracy, most importantly, from my perspective, bang on. So I definitely, so far, so good. Obviously, the issue with the barrel, uh, with the uh, stock 
and the magazines. That's been sorted. So now, yeah, great. Um, we, we know what the problem is with that. If you do hit a unit with that, which I'm told is is rectified and sh you shouldn't have that issue. But if you do encounter that issue, then you know what to do to fix it. Um, but from my perspective, I'm really pleased with the rifle. Not only does it shoot great, by the way, just to sell you something, that cocking lever is buttery smooth. It's absolutely gorgeous to use. It's got a really, really nice clicks to it. It's so smooth to pull back and it's got defined movement as you move backwards and as you take it forward. It's great. So overall, I'm super happy with this rifle. Super, super happy. All right. I think that comes to the end of this. Um, given the opportunity of going to, I've spoken to a couple of people actually, uh, ranges which push distances between 30 yards and 60 or even 75 yards uh, I plan to take this and the Reximex and also uh, my Crown Mark II just to see how they all compete against each other given an opportunity I'll do a special vid let's see uh, that's to come but I've also got some exciting new rifles coming up very very soon so please stay tuned to the channel if you've liked what you've seen, please like and please subscribe. Thank you for all your comments and your support. As I mentioned at the start, I wouldn't make these videos if, if you don't watch them. Um, once again, thanks a lot. Take care and see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much. Bye.